Thank you, CFTE. I am David, I'm the Managing Director of Avoid Estates Innovation. Some of the areas that I wanted to talk about have been absolutely fascinating. And the first one is in language modeling. Think about this. For your Star Trekkies out there, universal translator, we are at a stage, we're at a point in time where someone could be speaking to you in a language which, however much we'd love to learn, we don't quite fully understand or know at this point in time. Yet, you have, be it through the phone or through an in-air device, the ability of understanding what they're saying to you. It is absolutely unmanageable. If you would have gone back in time of told people that this could be done, the Tower of Babel, well, you've probably gone a whole bunch of biblical references. It is absolutely amazing. And one which personally really excites me because however much I try and learn new languages, I always find some difficulties there. It really not only gives us the possibility to communicate better, but to understand language in its intricity and complexity and retaining languages for their beauty. Satellite and drone data. We all like getting packages and deliveries and organizations and companies from the DHL, your AWS, and many, many others, all starting to see how to leverage on drones to deliver. But it's not just about deliveries. All of this naturally using satellite information, IoT information, to be able to get from point A to point B in a manner that's safe, secure, and fast. But it is also about how to do things and how to access, be it is from uh, building inspections, we need to go to extremely high rise, going underground to subterranean, or in slightly more difficult or dangerous situations such as fires. All of this is the combination of IoT information, satellite information, drones, to make sure that we're extending ourselves to further or new possibilities. Explainable AI, literally opening the box. How do we make sure that everything that we do Every, and I truly mean everything, is done so in a manner that's accountable. There's governance. And most importantly, there's trust. This is what explainable AI means. Exactly at what stage and how it's explainable, that is what we're still teasing out. This is what we're still trying to understand. But essentially, it is about how to make sure that we have confidence, that we have comfort in what is being done, that is done in a manner that is uh, safe, secure, and helping us in making an impacting decisions. Then, of course, looking one step beyond is edge AI. Now, this one is kind of fun. Is how do we go from a world that has been initially very kind of dedicated in terms of the centralization, having those massive farms in terms of computing power. In fact, one would argue that one of the uh, possibilities that has made AI possible, moving it out from a lab, have been those giant supercomputers, cloud computing, and so forth. Now, Edge takes us one step further. And how do we essentially take this processing computing, the, the intelligence in the algorithms, and actually bring it closer and closer and closer to the physical assets? This is still in infancy, but it really opens up some interesting and new possibilities in both how do we make sure that the device in itself is intelligence from um, autonomous uh, cleaning and vacuums, to your refrigerator, to knowing exactly how many groceries and when do you need to order milk, to things that we can't even begin to imagine, to being able to make sure that that ability, those services, that specificity, the hyper-personalization, the safety, and all the other application in which AIs are being applied into are done in a continuous manner, leveraging on everything that's around us, on the edge. Metaverse, how can I not talk about this? This is the area where more and more organizations are looking into. We have games which have already kind of started that metaverse experience. We're having now experiences, heck, banks could now be existing in the metaverse. So similarly, how do we make sure that metaverse, which is effectively a giant form of data, a representation of us, a representation of the environment we're in, the engagement that we're having, is used in ways with explainability, with trust, in providing us further uh, comfort, ability, assistance, service, experience. This one is truly, the, it's only the beginning of the possibilities. But as we go into the metaverse, we also go into the world of the AI in the metaverse. With that, thank you, CFD. Back to you. Mm -hmm.